There is no denying that Batman Beyond was a cult hit. The cyberpunk-themed series had surely succeeded in living up to the expectations of the legendary Batman animated series. Bruce Wayne was old, and all these years he had been building a highly advanced bat suit with such high-tech systems that it could help him fight crime in his old age. However, the suit was not enough, as Bruce Wayne was getting sloppy with his moves. Amanda Waller realizes the need for a new Batman. She implants his DNA into a newborn baby of a couple whose physiology is similar to his parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne. The couple Warren and Mary McGinnis gave birth to Terry McGinnis, who after a course of events similar and different from Bruce Wayne, becomes the new Batman or Batman Beyond. With the new suit, Terry begins fighting crime and gossip. The Batman Beyond suit was indeed one of the most fabulous creations of Bruce Wayne, and there was a wide and interesting range of its capabilities. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Marvelous video. In today's video, we will be exploring the Batman Beyond suit, so without any further delay, let us begin. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Party's over. Design and Visuals of the Batman Beyond Suit The Batman Beyond Suit is a highly advanced bat suit that Bruce Wayne had built 20 years before Terry McGinnis began using it. The suit was an arsenal of high-tech weaponry and it provided its users access to a near superhuman level of capabilities. Its design highly deviated from the original bat suit that we know of. To start off, the suit was completely black with a red bat emblem, which is different in size and shape from the previous Batman suits. The aerodynamics of the suit had been improved to a great extent and it no longer longer had the cape. Instead of the cape, it had retractable wings across the inner arms and sides of the body. In absence of wind, the thrusters placed on the boots enabled flight. The utility belt, which was one of the most important parts of any Batman suit that we know of, was no more a separate section and was fused with the suit with all of the weapons and gadgets incorporated within the suit itself. This is justified as in the animated series and the cartoons we have often seen villains take away Batman's utility belt which made him lose all access to his tech and weapons. The entire suit suit was covered with electric circuitry enclosed by a light refractive polymer, which would also render the user invisible. Instead of the cowl, it had a full face mask. In terms of durability, it could withstand severe concussive blows, fires, electric shocks, or lasers. But in some cases, we've seen the advanced suit tearing and exposing the circuits. The suit could alter its size depending on the user, as both Bruce Wade and Terry, having contrasting physiques, can fit perfectly into the suit. The Batman Beyond suit outmatched every opponent except for a few, like Barbara Gordon, the former Batgirl who exceeded the new Batman, neutralizing every attack. With such a wide array of features, the suit was state-of-the-art and is the perfect vision for a futuristic Batman. Fifteen years later, the design was minutely changed. Terry's suit now had a gray bat symbol and the design of the fused utility belt. The various features and upgrades in Batman Beyond Suit Throughout the animated series and the comics, we got to learn about the capabilities of the Batman Beyond Suit. As mentioned before, the retractable wings attached to its arms helped him fly, and in almost every episode of the Batman Beyond animated series, these wings and the thrusters from his boots were shown in need of flight. There were sensitive touch microphones on the index and middle fingers of the suit that helped Terry secretly overhear conversations, even through solid surfaces or even at far-off distances. The stored record audio can then be downloaded into a chip and played when needed. The suit had a personal communicator in which Terry stayed in touch with Bruce Wayne in the Batcave. Despite all the enhancements provided within the suit, Bruce could paralyze the suit at any instant from his Batcave. He had a kill switch, which he used on two occasions. First in Episode 2, Season 1 of the Batman Beyond animated series after Terry McGinnis stole it to find out his father's killers. He shut it off when he was surrounded by the armed security guards of the Wayne Powers Tower, but later activated it, realizing that Terry Terry was not only avenging the death of his father, but also making an effort to save Gotham City from the lethal nerve gas that Powers was intending to spread. The second time the kill switch was used is in its fourth episode. Here, Robert Vance, the owner and president of Vance, the company digitized his mind into a computer program and downloaded it into the Batman Beyond suit. He made the suit walk up to an ocean and tried to drown Terry before Bruce Wayne once again used the kill switch and deactivated the Batman Beyond suit. There were different batarangs for different purposes 
forces. It was used to disarm the opponents or electrocute them via the electric batarangs. There were explosive batarangs as well, with the ones which could restrain opponents during combat. The suit could also fire discs from its wrists at high force, capable of neutralizing opponents. The boots had electromagnetic pads using which Terry could attach itself to surfaces. These helped him in climbing buildings as well, along with retractable claws from its arms. The suit was built in with numerous other gadgets. It had wrist-mounted lasers, smoke pellets, fire extinguishers, flashbang grenades, explosives, welding tools, etc. The suit could also cloak itself, making it invisible. However, it becomes visible under UV light. The suit provided its user the ability to see in the dark with the aid of digital binoculars and an infrared filter. The suit could also enhance the strength of its user by 10 times. It could lift up to the heavy weight of 1,700 pounds. With all those features, the suit was also bulletproof. Did Bruce Wayne design the original Batman Beyond suit? After the great success of the Batman Beyond animated series, there were the comics that took over the effort to dig deeper into the concept and stitch it with other elements of the DC Universe. Writer Dan Jurgens not only expanded Terry's story but also established the foundations of the advanced Batman Beyond suit. His comics explained that the high-tech suit was not made by Bruce Wayne but by Jim Gordon. In Batman Beyond Volume 5, Issue 4 showcased Tim Drake wearing a prototype of the Batman Beyond suit. The suit was given to him by Barbara Gordon, and it was similar to the one Jim Gordon wore in Batman Super Heavy. This suit, also dubbed as Rookie, was a robotic mech bat suit funded by Powers Tech for the GCPD in the wake of Batman's apparent death. The suit's design was midway between the conventional Batman suit and with features similar to the Batman Beyond suit, and it could change its color scheme between the Batman of Zurinar, the Batman of Earth-31, and the Silver Age Batman. Thus, the events could very much confirm that when Barbara handed over the suit to him, it had gone through drastic changes and improvements. Also, the Batman Beyond suit was filled with so many features that it could certainly make any user good enough to take down opponents, thus concluding that it was made of a world without Bruce Wayne, revealing that it was in fact made by Gordon, keeping in mind that the real Batman was dead. Why didn't Bruce Wayne come up with a Batman Beyond suit when he was young? One could ponder on the fact that if Bruce had built the Batman Beyond suit approximately 20 years before revealed in the series, then why was it never used back then? It could have certainly given Bruce an added advantage against his opponents and the supervillains. Well, the reason might skip the eye, but it was indeed quite simple. Let us take a look at the genius minds that existed in his time. Lex Luthor and Brainiac. Lex Luthor was a narcissistic, power-hungry man, and he would have certainly tried acquiring such a high-tech suit for himself. The next would be Brainiac, and that could have been quite a challenge. If Bruce would have faced Brainiac using its Batman Beyond, it would have surely been one of his biggest mistakes. Robert Vance had jeopardized the suit while Terry was inside it, and it would have been extremely easy for Brainiac to do the same. Lastly, the Batman Beyond suit would have certainly made Bruce rely on it rather than his years of training. Bruce Wayne had spent years training and tuning his mind and body to an optimum state, making him the most dangerous man on the planet. He is more than a suit, and that is what made him unique and unpredictable. Hence, the reason for Bruce for not using the suit before is highly justified. What is the weakness of the Batman Beyond suit? Despite being a highly advanced suit, there were a few weaknesses. As it's merely a suit, it cannot replace the lifelong skill set of Bruce Wayne. Hence, without the suit's extensive capabilities, Terry often got into trouble. Needless to say that if the suit ran out of power or of access, Terry is on his own. One such notable incident happened in Batman Beyond Neo Year Issue 4. In this issue, Terry had to face the threat of the Sword of Gotham, an operative in the living Gotham. Millions of nanobots were manufactured by the Wayne powers and released into the city's water supply, eventually infecting the entire population. These nanobots helped S.W.O.R.D. take control over anyone's mind and body. After Batman prevented the arrival of a shipment of lethal drugs in Gotham, S.W.O.R.D. was sent to kill an equal number of citizens that the new drug would have killed. Eventually, S.W.O.R.D. began taking over different citizens and attacking Batman. After fighting for over a considerable amount of time, Terry's suit began losing its power, rendering Terry to a vulnerable state. Secondly, as mentioned earlier, the suit was once taken into control by the Robert Vance program revealing that the suit's programs could be hacked, which indeed is one of its biggest weaknesses. Marvelous Verdict So we have finally come to the end of the video and we hope you liked the content. Batman Beyond is one of the most sensational characters of the DC Universe and it was probably the best iteration of a futuristic Batman. Despite being the perfect replacement for the legendary Batman, it meticulously illustrated the difference between Bruce Wayne and Terry McGinnis' Batman. Bruce Wayne is irreplaceable as he was more than just a suit. While the new Batman suit was like an arsenal of weapons, Bruce was the weapon himself. His appearance as Batman instilled fear in the hearts of the most ruthless villains 
weapons, and his suit simply amplified his deadly persona. There was no doubt Terry did justice to the legacy of Batman, but without the sophisticated suit, he was certainly not Bruce Wayne. Thank you for watching the video to the end, and feel free to add your views in the comment section below.